The TLDR of this video, Project Security is out in live and updated with a complete set of new home labs, kicking us off with Networks and Attacks 101, where we will be provisioning out various different network infrastructure associated offensives in the relevant security defenses on the network layer, which transitions us into this larger project that we are announcing called the Project Security Home Lab Series Suite. If you're looking to get started in cybersecurity with hands-on experience, a hands-on approach, you're perhaps a student looking to level up your skills build a portfolio, and maybe, or you're a security enthusiast, this brand new Home Lab series suite that we're launching is coming bundled with a whole bunch of really fun activities, community, and well, labs, of course. If this interests you, you can become a founding member and enroll in the Project Security Portfolio Suite. This is a one-time offer we are offering this week only, and to kickstart this off, so yeah, let me just go ahead and show you what we're gonna be doing and how we're gonna be doing it and all the fun stuff come ahead. After going through the entry level industry, talking to a lot of students over the last year, subscribing to various different training and courses, I realized the best way is just to do. Basically a do it yourself or DIY approach to learning the essential skills, components and technologies. And what better way to do that than just going out through virtualization and doing that today. And this is why I've built Project Security, basically a way of getting hands-on practice starting day one. Project Security is a great fit if you're an individual who falls into one or more of these situations. You're a beginner looking to get started in cybersecurity with a day one practical start. You are a security student or professional that's looking to perhaps level up your resume in your portfolio, something that you can showcase to employers, recruiters, and colleagues to bridge the experience gap. You're an enthusiast or professional that's looking to level up your skills in the associated areas of IT, attacks, and defenses, or you're an individual who has been applying to countless jobs and you just really have had no success with building something that's comprehensive, something that you can put together and showcase throughout this tough job market. I've built this for you. So to kickstart this journey, I released the Enterprise 101 module or course section, I'm calling it, basically a means of building out the foundational aspects, topologies, and technologies through virtualization and growing our home lab to a means of conducting an end-to-end -end cyber attack. And this is what we did. I released this out. I've gotten thousands of signups and a lot of really good feedback for just building out a security home lab. So what I've realized through the last several years and while building out the foundational Enterprise 101 course was we really need to build something that's a bit more comprehensive, something that's going to be emulating a real world environment. And this is where the Project Security Portfolio Home Lab Suite, I'm calling it, is really going to encapsulate all of the essential skills that you would need to grow and develop in security. When I finished Enterprise 101, I decided to continue on forward with Networks and Attacks 101, learning the foundational elements of network communications. Of course, this is what powers the internet, and the network layer is a very essential component of security. From Networks and Attacks 101, we're building out and expanding our corporate environment and simulating various different business critical systems and technologies that you would see in a regular IT environment. From there, we're going to transition into building a production environment on the cloud and building out a web application. What we're attempting to do in each of these course sections is build out the essential skills that you would need to deploy and configure various different technologies and strategies. And then, of course, look at the associated offenses and defenses that we can use as both red team, blue team, offenders, and defenders in the security realm. And I really think that these four core sections offer the basis for what we do in security on a business level. One of the core reasons why we're continuing on in developing the Project Security Portfolio Home Lab series is due to the fragmentation of training when it comes to security. You know, you go out and you try to go through Hack the Box, try Hack Me, various different types of platforms, which are really good. They offer a great amount of content, and perhaps you go into some influencers courses. It's just kind of bouncing around, and there's nothing inherently wrong with that. What I'm trying to do is kind of patch those pieces together and build a environment where not only can we focus on some of these core skills and foundations that you would see, but also kind of have a plug and play area where you can plug in a SOC environment or deploy out various different types of lab environments that you can connect to the project security home lab baseline. I've built Networks and Attacks 101 as a means of extending all of what we're doing in the security suite as we are building out this corporate in production lab environment. 
During Enterprise 101, as stated, we created our functional basis of our home lab. We provisioned out various different workstations and associated user accounts that you would see in a real world environment. Of course, we have Active Directory to control those workstations. We deployed a dedicated corporate server that ran a Docker email SMTP server. And then we deployed Wazoo as our SEM and EDR system, which would of course aggregate various different types of network and endpoint based logs into our security stack so that we could gain visibility, we could detect and of course, remediate the security based attack that we conducted in this program. In Networks and Attacks 101, we take that foundational element and build out the entire corporate production network. We're calling it Project X. And basically what we're doing here is employing various different types of network-based strategies, tools, and technologies to build out something that you would maybe see in a corporate world. So we're gonna have an internal DNS resolver, we're gonna have an FTP server, an internal corporate portal that's gonna be an HTTP server that you maybe see. Of course, we're gonna have routers and firewalls, and we're going to be able to provision out various different systems to monitor the types of activity. And finally, what we're going to do is add the whole security element and layering on top of that to gain visibility into all of this new infrastructure that we provision. Of course, we're going to conduct attacks on and then, you know, remediate along the way. So in Network and Attacks 101, which is kicking off this new home lab security suite that we're developing, we really want to continue to learn the foundations of building a fully functional corporate network and deploying the relevant security detections and preventions that go along with that. But of course, we always want to be attacking as well. We want to be having our hoodie on and seeing what we can do as an attacker. From that perspective, we're learning how we can bolster our security defenses. The ethos of project security really comes down to deploy, attack, defend. So we're going to be deploying out various different infrastructure. As stated, we're going to be looking into deploying an IPS, IDS, Ercata, a firewall, router, PFSense, various different types of dedicated servers, containers actually, that will be running on our corporate server. We're going to be deploying various different types of attacks on this infrastructure that we deploy. And we're going to be looking at the likeliness of these attacks in a real world environment. How relevant are they to today's threat landscape? And then finally, we're going to be looking at the defenses, the ways that we can prevent those specific attacks that we created, but also looking at ways that we can just bolster our security defenses. So to actually give you a working example, of what we're going to be doing in networks and attacks here, you can see we have our virtual machines up and running. These virtual machines serve as the basis of our security home lab. So right now I have them like all minimized into one singular screen to be cool and show you what we're going to be doing. But really, uh, in a way, we're going to be extending this network, uh, building out a router system and security dashboard and really looking at it from an attacker's perspective, but emulating the corporate elements and environment that you would possibly see as a security practitioner. So we're going to be conducting various different types of attacks to see maybe where there's gaps in our existing infrastructure and ways that we can deploy various different types of defenses such as Wazoo agents, perhaps looking into our logs and doing some threat monitoring. So in Networks and Attacks 101, as the ethos of project security goes, we're gonna be deploying, we're gonna be attacking, defending, and then we have a means of self-study labs. These are additional areas where you're gonna go out and do them on your own. You're going to be deploying various additional infrastructure, network attacks, and defenses as a means of developing not only your you know skills in your home lab, but also looking into building general skills such as troubleshooting, problem solving, and just learning to read through documentation as that's a very pertinent and a necessary skill in security. Speaking of documentation, we have step-by-step -step guides up on docs.projectsecurity.io. These are fully open source documentation that comes preset with everything that you would need in the home lab security suite. We've done this as a means and belief. We believe in open source. We're using open source tools. We want to make sure that you have what you need. So in networks and attacks 101, if we go into this, you are going to see everything that you will need to get started in your home lab and all of these step-by-step -step guides that come 
associated with uh, the overviews, the network topology, where we're going to be working within our home lab, and actually showcasing you uh, the commands and the screenshots. And really what we're trying to do is not only just say, do this command or do this action, but actually as a means of why. Why are we doing this? What are we doing and how are we doing this? So we're going through each of the docs and uh, this is it was a really kind of unique feature of project security. In addition, you get all of the self-study lab lines as well. So we have a lot of resources on this doc site. So the project security home lab suite is really a means of building out a foundational corporate and production environment, building out the necessary IT skills, as we've mentioned. But then in addition, as a secondary benefit, what we're going to be building is a security of portfolio, something that's tangible, something that you can showcase and point to during interviews, perhaps put on your resume, mention it to a recruiter or maybe a colleague. And we're going to be doing this at the very end of all four of these core sections. And we're just going to be calling it the Project Security Portfolio Suite, where we're going to be provisioning a website, GitHub, really just resources to showcase what you're doing, doing and evidence for just how you are doing it. In long, long term, Project Security is going to have modules connected to the four core foundations. We're going to be running forensic simulations, malware analysis, building out our SOC environment. Really, this is the foundation of project security itself. And this really leads me into, if you are interested in this whole image of becoming more practical in your means, building a security portfolio, and just you know having fun while you're building your home labs. So this leads me into really becoming a founding member. I've thought about this for a long time, and I've decided I want to open up a founding members launch for individuals who are really interested in building out this entire home lab series suite. Um, we've had thousands of members sign up through Enterprise 101, and we've really had a, a really good success stories from individuals who've built skills, they've landed positions, and it's been really a cool outcome. So as a founding member, you get promoted to the builders tier. And in the builders tier, you're going to get access to all of the core sections. Right now, they're rolling releases. So right now, it's just Networks and Attacks 101. We will have all of the additional ones. We're gonna have escalated technical support. We have that inside the program. We're gonna give you an exclusive community role because thank you for being a founding member. And of course, we have those self-study labs um, that only are exclusive to the builder and a step-by-step -step documentation, which is a bit different than what we see in a lot of training programs. Make sure to go to projectsecurity.io to learn information and collect a bit more details about what's exactly inside the program, like what you're actually going to get. Uh, you can get a good comprehensive overview of what we will be doing in this particular program. And you have the opportunity to become a founding member on the builders tier here today. We're going to be continuing to release those core sections. And really what I think makes this program different is not only is it comprehensive and it's connected together, it's affordable. You know, you're looking at an individual who has seen lots of influencer trainings and uh, it's it can be very expensive. And so I really wanted to offer this on a founding members tier at something that is going to be affordable for everyone. And, you know, you can always go out and start at the associate tier to see kind of what you're getting and how you can build your home lab. So project security at its foundation is all about home labs and you can become that founding home lab builder. Make sure to join our discord community and you can follow us on our socials, of course. So I'm very excited to finally be releasing the project security home lab series suite. And if you're an individual who's interested in kind of leveling up your skills, now is the time to become a founding member and really join in the cool community that we are actively building. More information will be in the description below. If you have not already, go sign up for Project Security uh, for free and build out your home lab. And I hope all is well, guys. And uh, until the next time, I'll see you in the lab or the home lab. And have a good day.